All right, little update. What I ended up doing, um, pulling this back, slapping it up, you can see there. And I had this piece right here. was underneath there like that this is part of the original quarter panel like I said it goes and you can see it's still under here it goes all the way up in there and it's welded up inside there so you I think you'd literally have to take the roof off to get all that out of there I could be wrong but it's what it looks like to me so what I did was went ahead and cut that out I'll probably have it upside down it's probably more like that but regardless cut that piece out I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to actually cut this piece out here uh, and look back up in here, like I said about this rust. I noticed yesterday when I was pushing on this, it's really soft right there. And so I'm wondering if something happened where water got in somehow right here, ran down, and ran down then through here. This is what I'm hoping for because if that's, that's the best case scenario. And I'm sure a little bit of rust got up in here, but I can cut this back a little bit. The problem I have is, is if you just leave it like this, say you just put your new metal in or whatever, this is gonna rust back out. It's gonna have little bubbles pitting out, you know, a couple years, whatever, how, you know, I don't know. But, uh, you know, if you're doing all this work, you don't, want, you don't want that, so you wanna eradicate that rust. Anyway, so I'm gonna put the new panel in. I'm gonna fold this back down over it and then uh, weld that all up there. I've still got quite a bit of this stuff to take off, but anyway, a um, little update on what I did there. I was not sure how I was gonna do that. Um, and again, I don't know how good it'll work, I'll have to see, but um, I think it'll work pretty good. All right, this is that brace that was inside there. I went ahead and sandblasted it. It was pretty rusty down here. Sandblasted all the rust off of it. Uh, wire wheel this side cleaned it up real good um, and I'm going to prime and paint that and get it ready to put back in the, the panel but uh yeah just sandblasted that a little bit and got all the dirt and crap off of it I'm gonna waterborne wax and grease remove it let it sit for an hour um, and then go ahead and prime it and probably just do some rust-oleum type paint um, for the inside of that there so um, another thing I noticed about this piece is the new pieces don't come with these in there uh, same with this under here and I'll probably have to get a flashlight to be able to see that but there's a brace under there yeah you can see it um, the new panels don't come with that so I'm gonna have to take that brace off and put it on the new panel it looks like they bonded that with some kind of panel adhesive or something um, I'll have to figure out what that is they bonded that up in there with and I don't know if it's necessary it seems like it helps with the rigidity of that panel um, and why they don't put that you know in the new aftermarket parts uh, I don't know other than cost savings but uh yeah I gotta figure out I'm gonna get that off and and uh, attach it to the other one. All right, if I didn't mention before, uh, busting spot welds is a pain in the ass. I got all that front part off, and uh, this thing right here, it's called a seam buster. Um, that is my MVP for the day. That tool is amazing. And uh, I couldn't have done it without that. I bought that one and I've got an L-shaped one. Right here. Haven't used it yet, but uh, I imagine it'll be just as useful as that one was. Uh, yeah, got all that loose. And uh, exposed quite a bit more rust. So I'll clean all that up and uh, grind all these little weld deals down. Hammer and dolly that back straight and uh, and I'll be able to start on the 
one back here, get all that taken off, get this little strip down here taken off. And, uh, so yeah, I got some more work to do. I'll show you guys something. Um, this is the side of a truck door I just cut off and you know, I was practicing years ago uh, welding sheet metal. But anyway, I thought I'd do a little experiment. I had three different kinds of paint. This up here is Transtar out of a rattle can. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty good stuff. And then this here is Walmart Rust-Oleum. Um, it's etch primer. And then this right here is the High Dollar 3M um, weld through primer. So this thing's been sitting out here for probably close to three years, just outside in the rain. I mean, you can see where the grass is, you know, it's been laying and the grass is dead. And so, it's been rained on, it's been snowed on, the whole deal. Um, the thing I want you to see is this. Those are little welds. These are the little spot welds that I did. Well, on this, this is why I'm so adamant about trying to get on the inside of panels. Because this is bare. So I welded this from the outside or from the top side and ground it down. Well, the issue is is obviously because it did I didn't do the I didn't treat the back side of the panel. Well, here comes the rust. You can see little rust spots. Same with this. This is now this is the good 3 wit 3M weld through primer. You know, welded the front side of this, ground it down and then sprayed this weld through primer on it. Well, same deal on the back. If I would have treated that, I may not have had any problems. It may not have been any rust pitting back through. But, um, yeah, that's that's why. I mean, and this is like three years. So, I mean, it, it's taken a while just to get through to right there. And it's still structurally sound. But, again, that's why I'm so adamant about getting in the inside of the panels. This stuff here is pretty good. Um, I didn't do any welding on this. This was just bare metal and I shot it on top of it. Now this has been out with UV rays and everything and it's still holding up pretty good. So, you know, that, that I guess rattle can's the last resort, but on some stuff, small parts and stuff like that, and that stuff's pretty impressive really. I mean, like I said, three years sitting out in the weather, snow, rain, everything, and it's still held up this good. And all this is bare metal. And I just did the welds through here, so. You know, if I'd have treated the backside, which I wish I'd have done one of them like that, that way I could see for sure. Um, but, and you can see like here, the rust is starting to come back through, the little beads from the backside of that. Um, and again, I don't think it would have had I treated the backside of it. So, there you go, just a little, little deal I did a long time ago. Just thought I'd show you guys. All right, here's that little brace. Uh, blasted and uh, put some epoxy primer or some uh, etch primer on it and then painted it uh, with some uh, high performance rust-oleum um, like I said this is gonna be inside should never get any water in it uh, if the car sealed up properly so that little piece will last forever that's a brace that's inside. That's that brace I took out of the inside of this area right here. Came up to heat, came from right here down to there. Anyway, um, got all this off. Got this piece that was here off. Um, just took my aerosol and basically cut around this edge. That way I can access these. Uh, spot welds a little easier and uh, well, this panel is going to be replaced so I'm looking at all these little spot welds here I probably won't even have to, to do anything with that because that panel is this panel so I'm replacing this whole deal so there's no sense in even taking these spot welds apart um, unless that's attached to something underneath which I don't think it is so anyway yeah I'll have to cut the spot welds out all through here um, and this looks like Swiss cheese so 
I'm thinking maybe I might talk the owner into getting another one of those. Surely they can't be that expensive. Um, and so we'll see. Little a little wire wheeling on this. Cleaned it up some. You see what it did look like. I haven't done this part yet. Um, and then I'm gonna hit this with 80 grit before I epoxy prime it. Um, some good news on this, I don't know if I probably already said this. This basically, it did exactly what I thought it did. Um, it allowed water to come in and run down through here. This metal up here has not been touched, um, so there's no rust up in here. So I will still cut this patch out and clean that up good, and then probably put another patch piece in there. Uh, if, hell, maybe my uh, fender might even come over to here. I don't know, I'll have to look at it, but that'd be good if it does. Anyway, a little more progress. All right, this is that panel that I cut off from right here, basically. And the underside of this has this little guy. And this is a pretty heavy duty little piece. And it looks like, I mean, it's got some spot welds in here, but they have uh, used some kind of uh, panel bond adhesive to, to put that on there and the new parts don't have those so I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this off and put it on the other one the issue is is and I've seen this in the past when you put something like this on a new panel and panel bond it on and do all that and then you start blocking the outside of it on the new piece you end up blocking this shape into it because you're pressing down so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about that. I may body work all the metal, get it all smooth, and then, uh, and then, and then put that on. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, if you have any comments on that, let me know.